I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about weapon mods in Starfield. To do this, you'll need a weapon workbench. The easiest way is to put one at an outpost, but you can also get one inside one of the two by one modules for your ship. Now there's some you can get by default, but you'll also want to get skill points into weapon engineering. The higher you get into this skill, the more weapon mods you'll unlock. Additionally, you'll need a research lab in order to actually research the higher level stuff, and you'll need lots of fancy materials in order to get all of these unlocked. There are a bunch of materials we'll need on this journey, but stop by Jemison Mercantile at New Atlantis and talk to Amoli. There's a few things that'll get you started, but you'll also need way more than this in the long run. So you're going to need an insane amount of adhesive. Every time you see it, you're going to buy adhesive. You're also going to need some aluminum to get you started. You're also going to need some beryllium. You're going to need some co not cobalt. You're going to need copper, and you're also going to need some iron. And you're also going to need some nickel. And finally, you're also going to need some sealant as well. So once you buy all those, you can always wait 24 hours at New Atlantis by heading out the store and going over to there. There's some chairs over there. Sit 24 hours. That's 48 universal hours times. I'll reset your shop. You can buy more of that stuff than if you want to. When you're at Jemison Mercantile, you should be close enough to your ship that you're right near the port. You can go to your inventory, go to your ship, go to the cargo hold, go to your inventory, go to your resources and store all resources. If you have enough storage space available, you can also give it to your companion. Just You just want to be fast enough to, or light enough to fast travel. Now you're going to pick a random planet to make an outpost on, whichever one you like. It really doesn't matter which one for this. So I'm just picking a nearby planet in the Alpha Centauri system. Once you land somewhere, you're going to get away from your ship. You're going to open up your scanner. The bottom left, R to make an outpost if you've never done this before. And then at top right, you can change the tabs. The only things we really need for this are going to be the industrial workbench, the weapon workbench, and the research lab. But you should have materials for all those if you just followed the instructions I gave there. Now, the first thing you're going to do and the hardest part of the whole adventure is you're going to want to unlock more weapon mods. You're going to go to the research lab. You're going to go down to weaponry. And you'll, at first, you'll only see like number one for most of these. And you'll just go in and you'll see whatever materials you need. You'll go to Jemison Mercantile. You'll go to UC Distributions in the commercial districts of Jemison. Uh, you'll go to a lot of different places to get these. I'm going to show you another shot for some of the higher level ones. But the basic stuff like titanium, tungsten, steel, that stuff's easy. You can just buy that anywhere. Uh, then you get to more stuff. Polymer, adhe polymer adhesive. That stuff's pretty basic too. Uh, nickel, lubricant, tungsten, easy stuff. Once you get some of the later ones though, I'm trying to find one of the later ones here that's really crazy. Uh, some of the later ones will use like zero wire, which you can also buy there uh, at some of those stores. And then other ones you'll see like isotropic coolant, which you usually can't actually buy at the stores. It's actually not that bad. I think there was one that used a positron battery or power circuit, for example. And that one is actually a store you can buy that at if you do run into any problems like that. Most of the things you can buy at Jemison Mercantile or UC Distributions back on Jemison. Uh, but if there's something complex like the battery that you need or the power, whatever it was, power circuit, you can go over to Voli. And there's a shop here that has some more... Uh, that has more random complex stuff and his stock is very inconsistent but go to neon core there's a shop here that will have random high level stuff like even aldemite drilling rigs all sorts of crazy high level industrial parts it's random though so he doesn't always have it in stock but go to sea cards outfitters right by the spawn of this place and sometimes you'll have it sometimes you won't if he doesn't just wait for 48 universal hour times but there's this guy and you see what he has for sale and you can find hopefully what you're looking for under resources so the one thing we need to start with a p it was a power something and he doesn't was it positron battery i can't remember well either way you can just look here if he doesn't have it find somewhere to wait for 24 hour or 48 universal time hours reset him until he has anything you need for the research and like i said earlier go to your skills science if you want to have everything unlocked you'll need level four of weapon engineering now in order to level weapon engineering you'll have to actually craft mods and i have a little cheat method for you that you can do to make this super fast cheap and easy so in order to level weapon engineering fast just go to a weapon workbench pick a random weapon usually a ballistic weapon easiest way go to the barrel and then you can see at the right what you need for this so say short barrel uses one nickel one iron that's a f that's not free but basically free so you'll just put on like say a short barrel on some random gun and then the other one you'll depending on what it is you'll have sealant nickel or sealant iron or something so then you'll just swap it back to standard barrel there's two weapon mods three four five and at that point you can now get weapon engineering two and then you get weapon engineering two just come back here and just convert resources into crafting attempts not attempts but just crafts and that will allow you to unlock weapon engineering three and then four and get the whole thing mastered and then you can get all the weapon mod re weapon mods researched once you have them researched then it's time to install them so now we're already at that weapon bench that we made back on this outpost i had you make and each weapon has different upgrades that they can have. So if you don't see something on a weapon, that means that weapon can't have it. You don't need to research things to unlock and see what's there. It'll show you things even if you can't use them. So fully automatic on this. Takes receiver mods to research. 
it would show me this even if I hadn't researched it. It'll just show it anyway. It'll show what percent it's at. So you don't need to worry about like hidden things appearing or something. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it'll never be there. That's pretty straightforward for that. So you're going to go through here and there are a lot of different things to know about. So uh, laser and stuff, this stuff is not going to really do too much effectively, but uh, there are hidden effects on things. So, you know, if you look at the bottom of the image of the gun here, when you mouse over something or select something, it'll say what it does. Marks enemies while aiming, greatly increases accuracy and things. So they, they can have effects like making your bullets uh, sway less from the crosshair and stuff over distance and things. So, you, you know, they actually will do things beyond just, oh, it's a laser sight, right? Uh, so be sure to read that for every single thing. But some of the most amazing ones are going to be the internal mods and the magazine and batteries and sometimes the receivers those are usually the most insane out of all of them and muzzle can also be really crazy but there are gonna be some pretty crazy things in all of these like one of my favorite ones here was the orion and i have this one that i fully decked out with everything i want i gave it a long barrel gives accuracy recoil range at the cost of aim down sight speed and stuff uh but the main thing is it has an amplifier and this is where you get some crazy materials so you need iso centered mag iso centered magnet which you can make at that industrial workbench you need zero wire which you can make at the industrial workbench or you can buy these and some of these you can find at seagards outfitters if you don't have them tantalum adhesive all that stuff but amplifier on a laser weapon literally just increases the damage so without it, it does 198 with it it does 262 so just flat just here take more damage uh, we have magazine and battery, these ignition beams, it makes it so the lasers do even more damage and they can burn enemies. So we got additional just bonus damage and it can burn people. Uh, the muzzle has one that it doesn't actually, uh, well, I think it does actually change the damage on the left. Either way, it says uh, increases damage, headshot damage, and range. So just more free damage. So there are things on weapon mods that are insane, which is why you need to be modding your weapons if you can, because... If you find something really cool, you'll think you found something good, and it'll actually be nothing until you mod it. Like this gun, look at this 262 damage it has. When I found this, it had like 140, and I thought that was good. I was like, 140, this thing's amazing, and I kept it. It wasn't until I got into weapon modding, I realized that was nothing. You can take it to a whole new level with weapon mods. Not only that, but when you find a very high value weapon, like for example, I have this heavy weapon. And look how much this thing's worth. It's worth 57,000 value. So another little trick you can do to make more money if you want to make money from weapons and stuff. Just a fun little way to make extra money. You can go to this and you can install mods and look how much it increases the value. So 57,000, I can put on one of these which costs almost nothing in materials. And I can increase its value by 10,000 with a stabilizing barrel. And then I can go down to the laser site. And I can increase its value by another few thousand by putting on one of these, which I'm not going to put on. I can put on something else. It already had a good optic. It already had a decent tactical stock. But I could put on a stabilizing stock. I could make it go up by another 6,000 in value. Uh, you can put on, oh my god, I could put on Hornet's Nest and it'd be worth 30,000 more. That's And look how little it costs. Three lead, two adhesive, four tetrafluorides. That's nothing. That's nothing. Although it'll take magazine and battery mods three, so you better get that weapon engineering three. But literally put this on and this thing goes from being worth... 68,000 or whatever being to being worth 90,000 from Hornet's Nest. That's absolutely insane. That's totally busted. And then internal, put on a hair trigger worth a little bit more. And you get the point. You can make crazy money from your pre-existing weapon finds if you're into making money that way. If you don't want to use one of the money farms from the other videos I've shown and things. So this is just a really cool way to make money. But it's up to you to go through and just find out what's available on every single mod. I'm not going to go through every single mod and what's the most insane mod for uh, you know everything. Generally speaking, it always follows the same pattern. Internal, magazine and battery, and muzzle are usually the most insane. Laser and barrel are usually just for accuracy and re things related to that. But you might find some unique things on certain guns. So, for example, I have... I'm trying to find it in here. There was this uh, pistol, and it had a binary trigger receiver option. And it makes it shoots two shots with each shot. That was pretty cool. I didn't see that on a lot of other guns. So, just go through here once you get it all unlocked. See what's available to your weapons. Even if you don't have it unlocked, just go through and see what is available. And if you see something you really want, then maybe it'll give you motivation to go and get all the research done and unlock it all. But that's it, guys. At this point, you know how to do it. I don't think there's much else to tell you. I mean, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to remember to read them. But um, the whole point of this was to get you up to speed on weapon mods and what you got to do to get through that process. And it's basically just going to Jemison Mercantile, going to UC Distribution, buying the materials you need to research them and put the mods in, and occasionally going to Seagheart's Outfitters to buy some specialty parts. And that's about it. And then you just put down an outpost, put down a weapon engineering thing, a research lab, an industrial workbench, and just make whatever you need. And... Get your weapons modded, and it's insane. I mean, you can literally, for a lot of weapons, you can increase the damage by a factor of three. Something you absolutely need to be doing. So hopefully this video helped you out, guys. 
now you know how to make your weapons up to three times stronger or more with weapon mods, mo with weapon mods in Starfield.